what's up guys how are we doing we're back in the old youtube um i've been off it for a number of weeks now i've been flat out working and training and doing all these bits here that people don't really get to see but today we're back new blog and i'm so excited about this i'm going to gap by park racing dual slalom which i've never raced and this is one of the kind of disciplines or types of racing that i if there were more in this country i would be all over so uh, Gap by Park are hosting a small dual slalom event uh, because of this bike fest thing they're doing for, bet I think it's between the 18th and 21st of May. So today is Saturday, 20th, I believe, 20th, 21st, 20th, 21st of May. Um, and it's in the morning, we're just going to Gap, we're going to prepare the bike. So I'm going to be taking the Santa Cruz, uh, my enduro bike, it's 160 front and back, full 29ers, it's like a full on enduro, nothing to do with dual slalom. But I'm going to change a few settings in order to make it better, faster. So the idea is to make it stiffer uh, and a little bit lighter. So I'm going to take all this tube stuff that I have on it from the previous race. Um, I'm not going to change tires and I'm going to show you why shortly. But basically the main change is I'm going to go for a way stiffer setup. So I'm going to put a lot more pressure on my fork. I'm going to put a lot more um, compression on my shock as well. And I might even change the spring. I have a 450 spring on this. I might go for the 500. Um, and yeah, it's going to be exciting. Tire setup, this is what I meant before. Uh, you might say that I am a rat, that I don't want to spend money. But uh, these old worn out tire, there's a reason for this. The reason why I've been using this is because last last week we were racing enduro in the driver and I knew that the course was so pearly. So I didn't want to have a brand new tire with loads of grip, but very, very bad rolling efficiency. So I used these worn out tire that I have. At the front, I do have a brand new tire. Uh, it's only been used like three times, plenty of grip. But for today, I'm going to keep this. Um, so as you can see, there is not much left on this but it should be faster rolling for the day. Big thing, uh, before I change my settings, I'm going to take note of what I have right now because it would be a joy mistake to not check this. Then the next day I want to ride the bike, I can't remember what settings I have and then I make a mess of the bike. So the first thing you want to do is check what you have right now. So the day you want to change back to your current settings, you're going to know what you're up to. Just made it to the gap. And we made it by 10 minutes. There was a traffic uh, crash on the M50. And <laughs> we we just made it. We were supposed to be here at the gap at 1. And it is 1.45. Um, got a bit hectic. But we're here. Good to go. And the hangar's going to be taking over the camera today. There we go. At the gap with boys. Doing a few warm-up laps. Bit of fun. And then we'll do racing. Sitting. Go. Oh. This is it. That's the first round.
Go. Riders ready? Three, two, one, go! Go on, man! Go on, man! That's all right. You, you, you can do a prayer, Ben. Riders ready? Three, two, one, go! Woo, go on, Tommy! Go, Tommy! Go! Riders ready? Three, two, one, go! made it to the finals. Now we are going to do one more shot and we will take 50 quid home. <laughs> Left. Hi, dude. Hi. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs>
worth on a voucher, I believe. Um, so that's going to pay for today's diesel. Uh, now we nearly made it because of a, a there's a car crash on the M50, so uh, I had to let Alhanda drive the van, and I was getting changed at the same time while she was driving about in the traffic jam. It was a bit hectic, um, but anyway, it was a good event. Uh, we all had fun. I think there were no crashes or injuries during the event. Um, so it was good. So see you in the next one. Uh, next weekend there is the round three and four of the BMX National Series. So we should get a blog of that too. So 